Hello, hello. Hopefully, I have some of you join me. Today's Facebook Live, I was not very good about uh, reminding or sharing that we were gonna be live on Facebook. Um, but I do have some fun stuff to do with you guys. I'm gonna turn my iPad on here so I can see your comments. Um, so I thought we would just have a little bit of chat and coloring. Um, there we go, I can see you now. I can see you. Hey, hey Lee. Okay, so, um, I have been working for the last two or three hours on a class that is going to be coming out in May. I'm super excited about. Um, last year, I partnered with a friend of mine, Rhonda Wade, and we did a punch art class, and we're going to do another one. It's coming, so keep an eye out for that. Um, and I'm really excited about it. It's gonna be amazing. So I'm, I really wish I could show you the projects, but I can't. So you're just gonna have to wait and see. Um, sneak peeks, but they're so cute. So today I thought that um, I would just finish this card that I never got finished. It's been sitting like this for weeks. Um, I made this card and another card similar to it that was cased from the Stampin' Up! catalog in my online workshop, and I just think it's beautiful. And at the same time, I stamped this and had it sitting there ready for me to make. So we'll make that in a minute. Um, I am going to do a little giveaway today. I have this little package here to give away. It is the assorted pom-poms and this Daffodil Delight ribbon, which is beautiful. And it's in this cute little bag. So we're gonna do a little giveaway for this. And I just thought we would chat while I colored. So I'm using my um, watercolor pencils and I thought it would be fun to show you how you can use watercolor pencils just as normal pencils if you want to. So we're gonna color a little bit and stamp and make a card. Um, this is totally unplanned, to be very honest with you. Um, I'm really struggling keeping up with life in general. Hello in Queensland. I know so many of you can relate. Um, you know, it's just hard when you have a little one at home and I don't have any help during the day and she's old enough to do a lot on her own, but she's too young. She just, it's not fair to her to leave her um, by herself all day long and expect her to just entertain herself all day. It's just not fair. And so I don't do that to her because I feel like it would be wrong. But as a result, I don't get nearly as much work done as I would like to. Hey Debbie, hey Leticia. Hi, Patricia in Maine. Michelle in New Zealand. Nice to see you. Hey, Jenny. Good to see you here. Thanks for joining us. Wow, we've got people from Queensland. How fun. Robin. Hey, Roxanne. She's in Arizona. Hello, hello, hello. So I thought we would also... Um, talk about something that has has come up a little bit and I'm not going to spend a ton of time talking about it but just I just want to touch on it so Stampin' Up! there's been some nasty grams about this um Stampin' Up! came out with a cause to support if you purchased their pdf download which was um, they they it was either United Health Organization or World Health Organization. 
there's been a lot of controversy over that. Um, people are not happy that those are that that the WHO is one of the um, one of the places they've chosen to support. Um, due to the conflict over it and people being so upset, I've removed it from my Facebook page. Um, I'll be really honest with you. Stampin' Up! was do, trying to do the right thing. I feel no... I, I have no strong opinion about the situation, okay? Um, honestly, I'm too busy with my life to worry about it. I don't have time to stress and worry and, and write nasty Facebook posts and go on and on and on over something like that. There's so much more happening in the world, um, in my own personal world. I'm busy working and raising my daughter and trying to keep up with life. I don't have the time or the energy to invest in ranting or raving over something like that. However, there are people that do, and I just don't want my Facebook page to become an, a place where people feel it necessary to express their opinions about anything. So, uh, I deleted the post. If you're familiar with Stampin' Up's, um, sorry, there goes my dog. You know, here I am in my own little office and... My family can't seem to keep the dogs in the house. So now they're outside of my door barking. It's fantastic. Anyway, I digress. Um, so I just, I don't, I don't live in a world of negativity and I don't really allow it in my circle. I keep my circle very positive and happy and my friends are people that are positive and happy and my that's just the way I live. So for me, I don't, I, I don't want to say I don't care because that sounds flippant and I don't mean it that way. Um, I don't mean it to sound like, oh, I don't care what's going on. I mean, I care about everything that's happening, but I can't control it. And I can't control what's, who Stampin' Up! decides to donate the money to. And I'm certainly not going to be nasty over their decision. They were trying to do the right thing. Their heart was in the right place. If you don't want to buy the download because of who they've decided to donate to, then don't. And move on. Like, I, I just, I have no energy for it. So, um, that's kind of where I'm going to leave that. And I've had a few negative, nasty comments on my Facebook page. I've had a few people message me. I've had friends who are demonstrators who have gotten nasty messages. And they are trying to navigate how to deal with that. And it's just heartbreaking to me. Because honestly, at the end of the day, um, everybody is just trying to do their best. As is Stampin' Up! They were just trying to do good. They're just trying to do their best. And I'm sure they had no idea that there would be controversy around who they were going to donate to. So um, anyway, that being said, I've deleted the post because I don't want to draw any negativity about it. I don't want to hear people's opinions about it, frankly. I'm not a political person. I could care less from the politics point of view. Um, and I'm not going to give energy to um, getting upset over it or making a big fuss. So that being said, we can move forward. Um, it, and again, like I said, if you want to buy the download, buy it. If you don't, don't and move on. There's no reason for anybody to lose an ounce of sleep or energy over it. Um I will tell you that Stampin' Up! did something this week that I could not be more proud to work for them. I was supposed to be attending a, um, 
they, I was supposed to be attending a incentive trip that I earned last year. I was supposed to be going to Maui in, I'm gonna start coloring while we're talking. I was supposed to be going to Maui in July. And um, sadly, they told us yesterday that they are canceling the trip due to COVID-19. And they also told us they are canceling a leadership event, which is called Backstage, and that was supposed to be in New Orleans in August. So they have canceled both of those and we got an email about it. And here's where I just couldn't be more proud to work for them. They, they also canceled the cruise that was supposed to be in May of 2021. So I've already earned that trip, but people are still working towards earning the trip to the Eastern Caribbean, which is a cruise, which they've now canceled because of the problems around surrounding cruise ships. Really quick to the card here, I just wanna say, I'm coloring right over these black marks, um, the black lines, which is a little bit problematic, but we're gonna fix it, so just hang tight. So, um, so, don't know how you color and talk at the same time. I totally can't do it. Oh, I totally can. So um, I'm just a masterly. That's all it is. Just kidding. Okay, so uh, so they canceled them. They canceled both of them. And what they're going to do is they're going to move the Maui trip to the, the Grand Wailea from July of this year to May of next year. And if we earned both trips, if we earned the trip that we were supposed to go on this year plus next year, which I have, I've earned both of those at this point, then they're going to give us an option to either extend our stay in Maui or cash out partial, like cash out an amount and then also get to go to Maui. So we would have cash plus, which is cool, cash plus the trip. So we're making that decision. Um, I'm taking my best friend, Laura, with me to Maui. That was always the plan. So I had to call her yesterday and explain what was going on. She already totally expected the trip to be canceled. She was not shocked at all. Um, I wasn't shocked either. I guess I just, there was part of me that was like kind of hopeful. But as soon as they started um, canceling, you know, the Democratic National Convention and moving the Olympics and all that kind of stuff. I just knew there was no way. And then I had heard rumors that they were, um, that New Orleans was not going to allow any uh, um, festivals or anything all the way through July. So when I heard that, I figured probably we wouldn't be going to New Orleans. I am incredibly devastated about that trip because one of my best buds, Daniil, who lives in Australia, um, was flying over. We were going to stay together in New Orleans and then she was going to fly back to my house here in um, California and stay with me. And so I'm super heartbroken that she won't be coming to our house at least not right now I feel like at some point she will get to but I was really really sad about that so that's been hard um I had a cry over it honestly if I'm being totally honest um I had myself a little cry okay I'm gonna just do some like little stippling dots in the yellow so um so that got canceled. So she's not coming to California to stay with us. We're not meeting in New Orleans. And so now the plan is that in May of next year, we will get to go to Hawaii still. I'll go with my bestie and then, um, she will, I'm going to go over this now with yellow, just at the base, just to give it a little definition um, in the areas that would be like layered. 
Um, so her and I will figure all that out and then we'll still take Macy, but now, um, I think my husband might get to go. So I'm, we're going to have some conversations about if he wants to go for the extended part, if he wants to go ahead, maybe her husband would want to go. Um, now that it's so far out, we could maybe make more plans. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to see what what we can come up with because um, I think that it could be really fun. And then uh, what else is happening? Yeah, so that's it. I mean, that's kind of like what's happening on the Stampin' Up! front and I cannot be more proud of how they've handled that situation. Listen, they could have easily just canceled it altogether and been like, we're not doing it. We're sorry. We'll give you a little bit of money and call it good. Um, but they worked really hard at coming up with a solution that was going to be pleasing to us as demonstrators and the people that earn the trip. And that is going to <clears throat> keep us all safe. And so there's that. Okay, so moving on. Since we're on the subject of COVID and the havoc it's wreaking. Um, let's talk about something else. Okay, wait, I gotta go back and um, read some comments here. Yeah, Lee did say she would come here and hang out with my chickens. She's so funny. Okay, uh, yes, yeah, so many things have been canceled, true. Okay, so here's the other thing. So today, I posted on my normal Facebook page, my, not my page, but my Facebook account, like my personal Facebook and just asked a question. Okay. So I'm going to rant just a smidge. Um, cause I'm getting a little ticked off at people. So I just asked the question very simple. Is Costco requiring you to wear a face mask? That's all I asked because my husband is, was planning to go to Costco for us and I didn't want him to show up there and not be prepared to, to wear a face mask. Now, if you all have husbands that are super compliant with everything that goes on, good for you. My husband is not. I can't control that and I'm not going to cause fights in my family over it. So if a place is not requiring you to wear a face mask, he's not going to wear one. If they require it, he will. He's not going to be a jerk, but he doesn't feel that it is necessary for him to wear one. Now that can make you mad all you want. I don't, fine, that's fine. But that's, that's what's happening. And so I just simply posted on Facebook a question and I got all kinds of comments, you know, oh, well, if you want to stay alive, you better wear one and all this stuff. And I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> I have about had it. I have about had it with the nastiness there. If you don't have something nice to say, just be quiet. Don't say anything at all. Like, yes, yes, Robin saw my post. She said some people had opinions on my post. I didn't say, what's your opinion on wearing a mask? Um, or, you know, how do you feel about this? I just asked a question that I just needed an answer to. Um, and... I'm like, I don't need anybody's rude comments. And so, God, it's just irritating to me. It's irritating to me that I can't just make a simple post with simple questions and have people just, you know, answer. There were, pe there were a lot of people that just nicely answered it and moved on with their lives. But like, I didn't know if just some areas were requiring it, some weren't, whatever. Anyway, bottom line is uh, that 
We will, Sandra. We will. The bottom line is you've missed you've missed a bit. We've been ca we're catching up. So, um, bottom line is if you don't got something nice to say, just don't say anything at all. I mean, that's you know, like come on, come on. Okay, so. Uh, let's see. We're going to go in and now I'm going to take this journaling pen. Now I know this would not be everybody's cup of tea. I'm just going to say that right up front. There's plenty of people that would be like, there ain't no way I'm doing that. But I'm sitting here hanging out with my friends, having real talk. And I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to sit here and trace back over all of these lines that kind of got widened out, if you will, when I did the coloring. Um, so that's been my day. It's been an interesting one. You, you all know, normally I am chipper and I don't got nothing negative to say or I'm not a ranter. It's just not who I am, like, honestly. Um... I try to just mostly let things go, but I don't know. I'm feeling a little sassy pants today. I'm feeling a little pissy and letting it out. I'm just letting it out. Sometimes you got to just let it out. So that's what's happening. Um, so now that being said, let's talk about something exciting and fun. Uh, exciting and fun. Oh, let's see. What did I do today? I worked, I designed a class, I took a really awesome training from my buddy Rhonda and learned how to do an online bingo. I also dun, 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 ordered myself a laptop and the reason I did that um, Okay, let's see. Let's see, what else have we got here? I'm missing your guys' comments. The more you talk about being irritated, the faster you're coloring. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Probably. Okay, I'm moving on though. I'm not irritated now, I'm good. Um, say it louder for the people in the back. Be nice folks, I love it. On the humanity, I'm twitching again. Oh, God, you're so funny. My hubby said he would wear his army-issued gas mask. That's funny. You go, girl. We're here for you. Thanks. Y'all are supportive. Um, What the what? A laptop. I sure did, Lee. I bought a laptop. I'm going to tell you in a second why. I don't do coloring on crumb cake much. When I've done it in the past, I re-stamp the image with my stamparatus. I'd totally mess up the tracing you're doing by hand. Um, normally Brie, Brianna, that is what I would do too. However, I stamped this a long time ago and so it's not in my stamparatus anymore. Yes, my next paper share is going to be released next week. So keep an eye out for that. There's going to be a lot coming at you next week. Um, I will be doing a paper party just like I have for the past year and a half or so. So I will do a paper party and it will be released next week and you'll be able to sign up for that. It's going to be about $77 to get all 16 papers and you'll get a card kit with every single one of them. So if you're not already subscribed to my email, make sure you subscribe because I will be... Um, I will be making sure, oh, I missed right here. I will be making sure to email it out first. Generally speaking, my classes and everything that I do goes out in email before it goes anywhere else. I always like letting my people who subscribe to my emails get a jump on anything I'm doing in case it's like a supp while supplies last type thing which honestly my my class that I have coming out probably will be um because I can only I can only do so much stuff without my sister here to help me. 
So there's that. Um, and my husband's probably going to have to help me. Um, hey, Tracy. It is a MacBook. It is one of the new MacBooks. I'll talk about it in a second. Okay. Um, and why I ordered one. So that's about the paper share. Um, and there will be optional add-ons as well. Thank you, Diane. Um, Karen said, I found myself ranting today and I was like, what the heck? That's not me. Ranting is good for the soul sometimes. I know it's totally not me. I mean, honestly, like if you followed me for any length of time, how many times have you ever heard me go off on a rant? Probably once. I, th I can think of one other time that I had a fit about something. It, uh, I just don't do it because it's wasteful energy and I shouldn't have even done it tonight, but I just had to let some of it out. So, um, so anyway, what else was I saying? Oh, the laptop. Okay. Let's talk about why I bought a laptop. So, I had no intentions of buying one, but over the last couple of weeks, few weeks, four weeks, five weeks, since my daughter has been doing school at home, she has taken over my laptop. And the laptop she has is super old. It's like eight years old, I wanna say. Eight years old, I think I've had it for eight years. It's already had the hard drive replaced in it once because I burnt it up. Um, because I do, I use Final Cut Pro editing and that's a real, that program's really hard on computers. It just is. Um, it's a really heavy duty program. It has a lot of power and so, yeah. So that's what happened there. So, um... So I bought a laptop because I do most of my editing and stuff on my big um, iMac that is in my office, but, but um, I like to write my blog posts and stuff sitting in my house at night uh, in my comfy cozy chair with a blankie on me. So she, because she took over my laptop and let's face it, she's going into junior high. So she's going to need, she's going to need a laptop and she took it over for school. Just to clarify, it's not like, it's not like she doesn't need it. I mean, she needs it to do her schoolwork right now. So I let her have that one. And I finally just decided today I was going to go ahead and buy another one. And, um, since that one's eight years old and I'll clean that one up and take everything off of it so that it will last her a little bit longer. And one of the main reasons I wanted to buy one is so that I could do zooms where you guys can see my face and you can see what I'm working on. So I needed another source to be able to do that. Yes, um, my paper party is a paper share, Susan, and it will be available to sign up for next week. So hang tight to see that. Um, oh, thank you so much, Susan. She said she loved my last two paper shares. They're a lot of fun. Um, yes, Deborah, I'm going to have to have your help. So Deborah lives near me, and she has always been super awesome about helping me. And, um, and so I'm going to have to have her help. So I'm going to have to pack stuff up for her that she can do at her house and then she can drop it off and pick it up. Um, cause I don't want her to be here and be exposed and in any kind of danger. Isn't that beautiful? Now, what am I going to put over it? Because I don't want to cover it up guys. but I want to put a sentiment. Okay. Let's see. We're going to have to look for, you know, if I could find a really good sentiment to go right here, then I would. Yeah. So I've been using zoom for years. Uh, it's something that I have, um, done for a really long time. Ooh, I saw, I see Meredith is on here. 
Um, I need to connect with her because she's a nurse and I want to I want to give some more cards to more medical uh, personnel. Okay, let me find a sentiment really quick. Do you guys have any suggestions for a sentiment? Oh, I need one. I'm just going to grab that's too big. You know what? I'm going to use this one because I have a friend whose husband um, tragically passed away and I'm going to use this one. May the memories of yesterday comfort you today. Um, her husband, I don't even actually know the whole story, but I just know he tragically passed away in the last couple of days. And it was very sudden. They, you know, it wasn't like he was sick or anything. And it's not COVID related from my understanding. Um, believe it or not, there's people passing away that's not from COVID. Um, so this will be perfect. This is from Timeless Tulips. Which, by the way, is carrying over and will be in the new catalog. Woo woo. Thanks, Meredith. Meredith knows who I'm talking about. She lives where I live. So, um, I'm going to stamp this on something else first before I mess it up on my card. Um, Meredith, will you message me and let me know if you... Where, like, if I could send some cards, encouragement cards to wherever you are working to some nurses and doctors, I would really love to do that. Okay, so I'll stamp this right here. I gotta stand up. I'm scared I'm gonna get it wrong. I guess if I do, I can always cover it up, right? So. Oh, perfect. That makes me happy. Joyous. And then we're going to put it on this card base and pop it up and it's done. And it's beautiful. And my friend who I adore will love it. And I just, my heart is broken for her. So that's who will get this card. Okay. So, um, So we'll add this to the front of the card and then we'll be good to go. Uh, I love this card. I love using craft with colored pencils. It really is super fun and I don't do it enough. And these pencils are watercolor pencils. So technically you could come in with some water and add a little bit of water to these images. Um, Oh, fantastic, Meredith. Yes, please hook me up with, um, can, should I just drop off a box or something to you and John? Could I meet John at Leone or is he going to be in town? Or I could leave it with Valerie. Anyway, um, I would love it when people from my community hop on and hang out with me. Okay. We've been doing lots of cool community stuff. Um, right now I'm working on cards for police week, which is coming up. I got asked by a chaplain to do some cards, 150 cards actually for police week because their whole plan, their whole celebration plan got kind of, um, screwed up. So, okay, I'll message John. Thank you, Meredith. So, I'm going to work on that. I've already, I had to farm a bunch of the card bases out to kids so that they could fill in, fill in the inside of the cards. And then I'm going to get those back. And when I get them back, I'm going to decorate the front of them. And then... um and then we're going to, they're going to get put in like gift basket thingies for the police officers in our county. So there we go. There's the finished product. Isn't that gorgeous? 
I really love how this turned out. I kind of want to color a drop shadow, but I'm scared too. Yeah, I'm going to do it. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. So I'm using an extremely light hand to do this. Barely any pressure at all. And I'm going to put a drop shadow just to the left. And this will just make it pop just a little bit more. Can you guys even see it? I can see it, but. I'm doing it. Risky business. Risky business adding a shadow like this when you finished a card. Because it, you know, if it didn't turn out, it would be a bummer deal. But it's turning out beautifully, so. Really light hand. That's also why I am holding the pencil up so high. I mean, I'm not squeezed down here. The further back you hold, the less pressure you're going to put on it. Where did you get this stamp that you stamped on the back? People ask me that all the time. This is from Etsy and the girl who made it and designed it um, no, longer, no longer makes them. So I don't even have anybody to tell you to go to to get one. Sorry. She actually was the niece of another Stampin' Up! demonstrator interestingly enough. Uh, yep, that we're going to call it good right there. There you go. Gives it some depth, makes it, makes it jump off the card just a little bit, but not overdone. If you go too much, you wreck it. So I just need to know when to quit. Thanks, Meredith. Thank you. You guys are so nice. Lee says, drop shadow sounds like a technical term for color outside the lines. You got it, baby. You know it. Um, where did you get your stamp? Oh, yeah, I answered that. Let's see. What's a drop shadow? A drop shadow is exactly what I just did. So I'm going to hold it up here. It's when you create a shadow that makes it look like it's dropping, like the, the shadow is dropping into the background, which then pushes your element forward. So dark pushes stuff backwards, light brings it forward. Um, so here in around my petals, if you notice, I colored in the yellow just at the very, very base of the petals. And that pushes this part of the petal forward and it pushes this part of the petal backwards. So it helps give a little bit of dimension. So I could even go in a little bit darker right around the edges here and it's gonna make this area here pop out more and it would make this, this area here recess more. But I'm not, I'm gonna leave it alone because sometimes when you overwork stuff, it just, it, it, you don't wanna overwork things. Oh, good, Mare, I'm so glad. So um, huge applaud to to Miss Meredith, who is a nurse. And um, I'm sure you need some therapy right now, girl. Yes, Unity Stamp Company makes, there you go. So you can get custom stamps from Unity. Um, I'm just reading back through your guys' comments. Okay, I think that's it. So we're, I'm gonna just do this little giveaway just for fun. It's um, the ribbon and the pom-poms. And I'm going to, here we go. I'm scrolling through to see who it lands on. Winner is Kathy Sanford. Congrats, lady. She's like the luckiest person, I'm telling you. Kathy always wins stuff. She's so lucky. Okay, I need I need a post-it note though to put your name on. Because I'll forget. I'll forget who won. Alrighty. 
I gotta tell you guys, this is funny. Um, I found on my heating and air unit in my office, I it's new, so I didn't really, uh, I, I didn't really know there was any other option but heat and cold. And today I was in here and the temperature in here is perfect, but I'm like, I just need air, like circulating air. And I finally found on the control, there's actually just a fan. So I, so that just kicked on. So I don't know if you guys heard it or not. Okay. Um, let's see. You are welcome, Miss Kathy. Congrats. Okay. Anything else? Oh, everybody's saying thank you to Meredith. Thank you, Meredith. Um, okay. So yeah, that's it. I, I don't see any other questions coming in. So I'm going to let you guys go for today. I think I might be popping on live again this weekend, maybe sometime. I no promises. You know, I can never promise because I never know what's going to be going on. But um, I've got, I really want to, I don't know. I really enjoy spending this time crafting and chatting and catching up with you guys. So um, hopefully we'll do that. I'll make sure to take a picture of this card and share it so that you guys can see it in a photo at some point. All right. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.